The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. To pick the mildest cigarette, you don't need sleight of hand. Taste Lucky's magic mildness, then they'll be your favorite brand. I wash and scrub and cook and sew, and still I sing a song. Because I never work alone, I've Lucky Strike along. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Enjoy your cigarette. Enjoy truly fine tobacco that combines both perfect mildness and rich taste in one great cigarette, Lucky Strike. For only fine tobacco gives you both real mildness and rich taste. And LSMFT... Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So, friends, be happy. Go lucky. Try a carton of Lucky Strike. Be happy. Go lucky. Be happy. Go lucky. Strike. Be happy. Go lucky. Go lucky. Strike today. Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, and the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Jim, it sure is nice of you to take me on your milk rock. I thought you'd get a kick out of it, Elmer. Yeah, wait till I get home and tell all the kids in Calabasas. Yippee! Shh, not so loud, Elmer. People are asleep. Asleep? At 11.30? Oh, yeah, this is Beverly Hills. Sleep until noon is a privilege reserved for the rich. <laughs> Gee, in Calabasas, if you ain't a 5'7", you're a bum. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, well, there's Mr. Benny's house. Whoa, Deborah, whoa. <laughs> All right. Come on now, up over the curb. Easy, Deborah, easy. Ah, there you are. Here for? Uh, Mr. Benny's gone for the summer, and I pay him 50 cents a week to let my horse graze on his lawn. <laughs> oh, 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 he must be back from Europe. There's a milk bottle on the porch with a note in it. I better see what it says. Mm. Ah, the note's from Mr. Benny. Dear milkman, please leave two quarts of milk. I have just returned from London, where I was acclaimed the greatest sensation ever to appear at the Palladium Theater and a pint of cream. <laughs> well, I better find out if they want me to resume regular service. Well, good morning, Rochester. Good morning, Mr. Milkman. Glad to see you back, Rochester. How was your trip to Europe? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I was in Rome, Venice, Monte Carlo, London, and Paris. Well, where did you have the best time? Last night on Central Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> what a party. <laughs> well, tell me, Rochester, was this as big as the farewell party they gave you when you went away? Same one. It's still going on. <laughs> no. Yeah. They didn't even miss me. I gotta run along now, Rochester. I'll continue your regular service. Thank you. See you in the fortnight. <laughs> Doggone, it's sure good to be home. And I hope it's the last time Mr. Benny drags me to Europe. What a trip. Everybody else takes the Queen Mary or the Queen Elizabeth, but not us. We had our choice of the Nina, the Pinta, or the Santa Maria. <laughs> Uh-oh, look what time it is. Mr. Benny starts his first program today. I better 
see if he's up. Mr. Benny! Mr. Benny! Good morning, Rochester. You're dressed already. Yes, sir. Up, dressed, and raring to go. Just think, Rochester, I've been off the air since May, and here it is September. That's a long layoff. It sure is, boss. But it has been a nice vacation. Now it'll be good to get back to my millions of listeners. I wonder what they've been doing all summer. <laughs> Most of them been swimming the English Channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we almost hit a couple with the Santa Maria. <laughs> Rochester, I better have something to eat before I go to the studio. What do we got in the icebox? Well, there's still a little of that Thanksgiving turkey left. <laughs> there is? I thought we ate the last of that in Scotland. Didn't we? No, but we had it down thin enough so we can make a wish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Rochester, I'll just have some orange juice and a cup of coffee. I'll get it. Oh, it's a long, long time from May to December. And the dough runs short when you reach September. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Don! Hello, Jack. Good to see you. <laughs> wow. Nice, nice to see you too, Don. Come on in. Oh, just a minute, Jack. Uh, what happened to your lawn? My lawn? I don't know who's been taking care of it, but uh, look at the way the grass is cut. It's so uneven. Hmm. I would get a horse with a tooth missing. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> well, Jack, tell me all about your trip to Europe. Did you have a good time? Oh, it was great, Don. Just wonderful. That's swell. How was your engagement at the Palladium? Were you a big hit? A big hit? Don... Don, you've known me a long time, haven't you? Yes, yes, I have, Jack. And you know that I'm not the kind of a fella who boasts or brags. Well... What? <laughs> well, what I'm trying to say is, well, Don, my engagement at the Palladium was absolutely sensational. In all modesty, I can say it was a personal triumph. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad to hear that, Jack. You know... A few weeks ago, I appeared at the Hollywood Bowl in The Vagabond King, and I was a big hit, too. Well, good, good. What part did you play, Don? I was all the king's men. <laughs> Don. Don. Melancholy baby. Don, I know what you're laughing at, but I still can't... Here's your orange juice, boss. Oh, thanks, Rochester. And I brought what's left of that turkey. Good, good. Would you like a piece, Don? Oh, no, thanks. That turkey looks awful. If you think it looks bad now, you ought to see his passport picture. <laughs> so what? Who takes a good passport picture? Anyway, Don, I'm glad that you... <laughs> Don, I'm glad that you had some work during the summer. Be excuse me. Come in. Well, Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Benny. Ah, Dennis, it's so good to see you. Gosh, it's been almost four months. Oh, it's good to see you too, Mr. Benny. Gee, I sure missed you. Well, thanks, Dennis. I, I missed you too. Gee whiz, I thought you'd never get back. Well, gee, that's sweet, kid. How was your engagement at the Palladium? Oh, it was wonderful, Dennis. Just wonderful. I heard you were a big flop. <laughs> You heard I was a flop? Who told you that? My mother. <laughs> now, you're just being ridiculous. How would your mother know? Well, she was a second mate on the Santa Maria. <laughs> oh, stop. For your information, kid, I was a very big hit at the Palladium. If you don't believe me, ask Don. How would Don know? I told him. That's how. <laughs> now, look, kid, today I'm starting my 19th year in radio. We'll soon be going to the studio. And for once, I'd like to start a program without aggravation. Is that asking too much? Not in a democracy, no. That's not asking too much anywhere. Now, let's hear the song you're going to do for the first show. Yes, sir. I'll see you in my 
Sometimes I live in the country Sometimes I live in town Sometimes I take a great notion To jump into the river and drown Stop your gambling, stop staying out late at night, go home to your wife and family, stay there by your fireside bride. I was swell. You certainly picked a good song for the first show. Yes, Dennis, and your voice is better than ever. It certainly is, kid, and it has a richer quality. Oh, that's because of my tonsils. Your tonsils? You had those taken out a year ago. I put them back in again. Now <laughs> cut that out! <laughs> Dennis, I told you that I don't want to start out a new season. That... Come in! Well, look who's here. Hello, Hello Mary. Mary. Hello, fellas. Mary, I thought you were going right to the studio. Mm, I was, Jack, but I got to thinking that this is our 19th year on the radio, and, well, I, I thought it would be nice if you and I went down together. Oh, that's sweet. Mary. Say, Mary, you really look wonderful today, and that's cute dress you're wearing. Well, thanks, Don. I bought it for our first program. Oh, oh, when'd you buy it? 19 years ago. It's back in style again. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mary, I'm right. Never throw anything away. <laughs> Say, Mary, you were over in Europe this summer, too, weren't you? Yes, Don, and we had a wonderful time. Jack told us what a big hit he was at the London Palladium. Yes, he was. He did very well. That ain't the way I heard it. <laughs> I don't care what you heard. Dennis, you should have been there. You would have seen an audience stand up and cheer for ten minutes. When was that? The night the king walked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right in the middle of one of my best jokes. <laughs> Jack... Did you tell the boys what a sensation Phil Harris was? Well... No, Mary, Jack didn't even mention Phil. He didn't? Look, Mary... Then I'll tell you. Phil was absolutely a ride with his songs. He took a dozen encores, and they just wouldn't let him off the stage. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that about Phil. Jack, why didn't you say something about it? Because he's jealous. Now, don't be silly. I wasn't jealous of Phil Harris. Then why'd you go around London telling everybody he was Jack the Ripper? <laughs> I just did that for a gag. Some gag. They almost hanged him. That was after he sang That's What I Like About the South. <laughs> he did the last three choruses with his feet off the ground. <laughs> now, come on, kids. We better get down to the studio. Where's Phil? Well, he's down at CBS already rehearsing the band. Come on, let's go. You know, kids, it'll be nice getting back to the old... Get off the lawn, you've had enough. <laughs> and, and have your tooth fixed. <laughs> Come on, Mary, I'll drive down with you. See you at the studio, fellas. Well, 
Well, Mary, here we are, Studio B, same old place. Gee, it's good to be back. Yeah, there's always something exciting about starting a new season. Now, uh, gosh, when I think of all the great programs we've done from this studio. Come on, let's go in. Ah, gee, the old place, sure. Hey, you, bud, watch where you're going. Who, me? Yeah, you're standing right in the range of the camera. Camera? Uh, 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 watch out, clumsy. Don't knock over those lights. <laughs> lights? What's going on here? Well, can't you see? We're in the middle of a television program. Television? But I'm supposed to do a radio show in this studio. What kind of show? <laughs> radio. Radio? You think back, Joe, you can remember. <laughs> Jack. Uh, maybe we made a mistake. How can we make a mistake? This is Studio B. And for heaven's sakes, mister, get out of the way. We're televising a program. But I can't understand Don't how... Don't you see the red light on the camera? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for it to turn green. <laughs> anyway, I won't leave. This is my studio. I'm Jack Benny. Jack who? <laughs> Benny. You think back, Joe. You can remember. <laughs> Joe, he looks like Deborah. <laughs> Look, fellas, there must be... <laughs> fellas, there must be some mistake. We always do our radio show from here. Oh, I don't know anything about that. This is a television studio now, and it... Hey, wait a minute. There was some guy named Harris here before. We sent him over to Studio F. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, Mary. Hmm. Got a lot of nerve changing my studio. The least that CBS could have done was to discuss this change with me. Jack, you were in Europe all summer. Well, they could have talked to my writer. They were in Honolulu. Well, then they could have talked to my agent. He was in Alcatraz. <laughs> oh, yes, what a coincidence. We all took boat trips this summer. <laughs> well, here's Studio F. Let's go in. All right, fellas, now let's try it once more. A one, a two, a... Th Phil! Oh, hiya, Jackson. Hello, Livy. Hello, Phil. How are things going? Oh, fine, Liv. We're still rehearsing the opening number. I'll be with you in just a minute. Take oh. a seat, Clyde. Okay, Phil. <laughs> we'll wait. All right, fellas, now let's go. One, two, three, four, a root, two, 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 hit it! Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute, Phil! Hold it! Phil, hold it! Hold it! Phil! Phil! What's wrong, Jackson? You're playing Guy Lombardo's theme song. He was our summer replacement. Well, why didn't he take his music off the stand? <laughs> I'm glad he didn't. He may be with us next week. <laughs> Say, Phil, have you got the same musicians this year? Yeah, Bagby, Remley, Kimmick, Sammy, same old gang. Where's Fletcher, the trombone player? Oh, Fletcher, he'll be a little late. His wife's gonna have her 10th baby, so they put her in the clink. <laughs> put her in the clink? Uh, Phil, why would they do that? I don't know, but it said so right on the door. C-L-I-N-I-C. -I -I That's clinic! <laughs> clink. What's the difference? She can't get out. <laughs> All right, all right. Now, look, Phil, instead of rehearsing Guy Lombardo's theme song, why don't oh, you... hello, do... Phil. Hiya, Phil. Well, Donna Dennis, it's glad to see you. You guys are a sight for pink eyes. <laughs> he admits it yet. <laughs> Say, Phil, Mary was telling me what a big hit you were at the Palladium in London. Oh, Mary, ah, oh, bless your heart, Liv, you pretty thing. <laughs> hey, Donzie, you would have been so proud of me. To quote the words of one of England's foremost critics, he wrote... When Phil Harris walked out to the center of the stage, the vociferous ovation was not only tumultuous, but it finally reached a crescendo bordering on pandemonium. <laughs> that he could read, but clinic is clean. <laughs> now, now, wait a minute, Jack. 
Jack, you must admit that Phil was a big hit. All right, all right. So Phil was a hit. What about me? I heard you were a big flop. You... <laughs> you know, for a kid... Okay, who doesn't... folks, clear the stage. We've got to set the cameras up. Hey, Mac, put the lights on both sides. Now, wait then... a minute. Don't argue, chum. We've got to do a television show here in half an hour. But I thought oh, this come, was... come on, Jack. We'll find another studio. Okay, though. let's go. See, Mary, I don't know what... That... I know that television is important, but if CBS think they can push me around, they've got another thing coming. I'm going to take this up with my agent next visiting day. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. Jack, Jack, look. That studio across the hall has a sign on the door that says Lucky Strike. Oh, yeah, that must be ours. Let's go in. Hey, Mary. Look at the way those... Quiet, please. We're doing a Lucky Strike commercial for television. A commercial? Jack, look at those cigarettes marching. Yeah. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. To the left flank, march. Wonderful. Certainly was, Mary. It's amazing the strides that television's been making these past... Uh, Jack, what's that on your hands? Huh? Oh, darn it, it's paint. I must have touched a piece of scenery. Excuse me a minute, I'll go wash it off. Oh, no. A camera in here. <laughs> They're just storing it in here temporarily. <laughs> Where's some soap? There, that's better. Mary! I'm over here at Studio G. It's the only one we haven't gone in yet. Okay, let's try it. Try anything. All right, if that camera and lights are set, let's rehearse that scene again, huh? Look, Jack, it's Alan Young. Oh, yeah. Alan Young, what are you doing here? I'm rehearsing my television show. Oh. Say, Alan, how do you like being in television? Oh, it's wonderful, Mary. It's so exciting, and Jack, I think you ought to get into it, too. Well, I am scheduled to do a few shows this year, but, Alan, don't you think that television is pretty tough on radio actors? Well, television is hard work, Jack, and there's no question it isn't going to be easy on the older radio stars. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, but that, that shouldn't worry a man like you. You're in your late 30s, aren't you? It's later than you think. <laughs> yes, uh, next year, you see, I'll be 40 again. I mean, 40. <laughs> but, Alan, how do you think I'll photograph on television? Oh, Jack, you don't need to worry about that at all. They got wonderful makeup, men, see? They can remove wrinkles from your face. They can broaden your eyebrows. They can take away your double chin. Well... 
Gosh, they can, they can do anything. Well, how do you think my hair will photograph? I don't know. Let's throw it in front of the camera and see. <laughs> oh, no, you're not going to throw this one. Don't worry, it always lands on its feet. <laughs> Mary, please. All right, Mr. Young, we're ready to start the rehearsal. Uh, well, excuse me now, I have to go. Well, Sir. certainly. Goodbye, Alan. So long, Alan. Oh, by the way, Alan, one more thing I'd like to ask you. I don't want to get personal, but how did you get into television? Well, I went in to wash my hands, and there I was. <laughs> Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Jack, it's almost time for our broadcast. Oh, Jack, Jack. Well, here comes Don. Maybe Jack, Zeno. where are we going to go? Every studio I've looked into has been converted to television. Where are we going to do our broadcast of our show? Well, I'll find out right now. I'm going upstairs and see Mr. Megan. He's the head man at CBS on the West Coast. Come on, Mary. I'm tired of being pushed around trouble every year. If it isn't my cast, it's my writers. If it isn't my writers, it's my agent. If it isn't my agent, it's his parole board. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a studio to broadcast from if I have to. Oh, here's Mr. Megan's office. Pardon me, I'm looking for Mr. Megan. Uh, I'm Mr. Megan. Well, I'm Jack Benny. Oh, yes, on the radio. Mary, he remembered. <laughs> he remembered. Oh, of course I do. Now, what can I do for you, Jack? Plenty. I came down here this afternoon with my entire cast to do my first show of the season, and what do I find? Every single studio in the building is occupied. Now, tell me, where am I going to do my radio program? Oh, yes, uh, your radio program. Yes. You know, we've got to find you a studio. I, I think I know where I can get you one. Uh, excuse me. Hello, NBC? <laughs> what? What's going on here? Now, look, Mr. Megan, why is it every year when I start a new season, I run into trouble? For 19 years, I've been on radio. 19 years. And a little thing like television comes in and disrupts everything. Why just once in 19 years? Can I go to the In our town, I walk through every street, and Lucky Strike rates right on top with people on my feet. Some claim this and some claim that, but when all said and done, for full rich taste and mildness too, Lucky Strike's the one. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. That's right, friends, be happy, go lucky, just taste the mildness the richness of a Lucky Strike. Here's a great cigarette. You bet Lucky's always give you perfect mildness. Scientific tests prove it. Prove Lucky Strike is milder than any other principal brand. And you always get the full, rich taste of fine tobacco because LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Remember, only fine tobacco gives you both real mildness and rich taste. So, friends, be happy. Go lucky. Try a carton of Lucky Strike. Be happy. Go lucky. Be happy. Go lucky. Strike. Be happy. Go lucky. Go lucky. Strike today. Good night, everybody. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.